Hello, I'm Karen Elguzma at Royal Roads University getting ready for the unveiling of a brand new totem pole. And you're watching Go on Shaw TV. On today's show, Lisa Pesmani introduces us to a Victoria boy who wants to name an XO planet. And we meet a man who's walking across Canada to bring awareness to end of life care. All that and much more on Go. Thank you so much for joining us on Go. We are at Royal Roads University. It is a big celebration on campus, uh, kind of all month long because it's their 75th anniversary. And if you're gonna celebrate 75 years, you gotta do some really big things. And today was not only a big thing, but it was a very beautiful uh, special ceremony because next time you come to Royal Roads, pause my friends, because you shall be welcomed by Harmony. This beautiful beautiful uh, poll that has just been um, honored and celebrated today. We're with the Chancellor here of Royal Roads University. Uh, tell us a little bit about the vision behind this poll. The vision uh, was basically something that I wanted to do for Royal Roads. I have, an, I have a love affair with Royal Roads and mm. have passed since 1962. I'm fortunate enough to be the Chancellor and Chair and be more involved of course now, but I've always wanted to put something back to the university that would um, be uh, reasonably permanent and would uh, reflect uh, the, the involvement of the university in, in the land stewardship, yeah. for example. Yep. Very, very important. If you look around, you can see that. Uh, my Aboriginal brothers and sisters um, that I hold in such high regard. And they just uh, promoting the university. Tell us about the yeah. voice that you heard during the carving. Yeah, that was very important. <laughs> While Tom was carving, uh, carving the, the say elk, which is, means harmony, I spent many, many uh, nights and days, that is early morning before sun, sunrise and in the evening after sunset. Very special times for me. And at that time, Tom wasn't in the carving shed. It was just myself and, and the pole, say elk. And I watched a, a log fall that was taken out of our campus grounds, being transported to the, to the uh, carving shed. And I watched it practically every day while it was being carved. And I swear that the evolution of that, of that carving was, lo was out loud to me. She was talking to a lot of people. And she was talking not about Royal Roads necessarily, but about land stewardship, peace, harmony, and that's where the name of the pool came from, wow. Sayalk. But it, it was so real to me, and to this day, that pool still talks to me, and there is a voice to it. I wish I could, uh, could repeat it, but there is a voice to it. It was very, a uh, very holy event for me, and trans transformative. It's a beautiful story and and it represents not only um, what what this poll is all about but it represents what Royal Roads is all about the idea of harmony of welcoming of stewardship of inclusiveness and yes. I am a second year Royal Roads University student I'm taking my master's in communications and actually our very next reporter uh, Lisa Pesami is also a grad of the communications program here at Royal Roads and there she is bringing us <laughs> a young 10 year old who has set his uh, height, his his education heights very high. In fact, he's looked up so high that he wants to actually name a planet. 